الله ولي الذين آمنوا يخرجهم من الظلمات إلى النور الله It is the beginning of Ramadan, a very, very special month that Allah Azza wa has given to us Muslims as well as to humanity as a gift. A lot of people do not appreciate the month of Ramadan. Many people actually who know the value of Ramadan don't act on that knowledge. So what I would like to share with you in the coming few minutes is the value of the month of Ramadan. What has Allah Azza wa put in this month that, make it, that makes it so special? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in a khutbah that he did in the last day of the month of Sha'ban, which is the month just before the month of Ramadan. He stood up and he gave this brief khutbah to tell people about the value of the month of Ramadan. So listen to this khutbah. Listen to it as if you're listening to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam talking to you, telling you about the value of the month of Ramadan. He stood up and he said, Ayyuhan Nas, Adallakum Shahrun Azimun Kareemun Mubarak. Here comes a month that is a magnificent month, a generous month, a blessed month. Shahrun Fihi Laylatun Khayrun Min Alfi Shahr. A month that has a night that is worth or even better than a thousand months. Whomever does an act of khayr, an act of good in this month, it counts as if that person have done a faridah in the months outside of the month of Ramadan. So for example, if you pray a couple of rak'ahs sunnah, it counts as if you have prayed a fard. And then he says in the hadith that if you do one fard in the month of Ramadan, it counts as if you have done 70 fard in months other than in the month of Ramadan. And then he said, وَهُوَ شَهْرُ rahma It is the month of mercy. وَهُوَ شَهْرُ muwasa And a month of compassion. وَهُوَ شَهْرُ sabr And it is the month of patience. وَالصَّبْرُ ثَوَابُهُ الْجَنَّةِ And the only reward for sabr is al-jannah. وَهُوَ شَهْرٌ فِيهِ يُزَادُ رِزْقُ الْمُؤْمِنِ It is a month that the mu'min's sustenance, rizq, salary or income would increase. It is a month in which if someone would feed a fasting person, Allah Azza wa Jal would forgive the sins of this person and will get the reward of the person that you feed as if you have done the fasting yourself. There are many other ahadith that describes the value, the importance, the magnificence of the month of Ramadan. This is a very, very, very special month. It's a month, as the ulama say, it is exactly like the winter season for the plants. So the rain comes down, the plants and the water wills are filled, and that is sufficient for the whole year or sufficient for the rest of the year. The month of Ramadan is like that. It is a month where we fill up, we re-energize, so that we can sustain our iman and our energy until the end of the year. So this is, these are some of the facts or some of the, 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 the descriptions that the Prophet ﷺ told us about the month of Ramadan. Now the question is, or the challenge actually is, what are you and me, what are we going to do about this? As I said in the beginning, a lot of people know the value of the month of Ramadan, know the importance of the ibadah and the work in the month of Ramadan. But what do they do about it? That's the challenge. There's a beautiful quote that I like to always think about and try to act upon, which, say, which says, it is not about how much knowledge you have. It's about what you do with this knowledge. It's not about the amount of knowledge 
the ahadith that you know, the verses that you memorize, the stories from the seerah that you know. It is about what you do with it. Our deen is all about being practical. So now you know that the month of Ramadan is the month of Rahmah. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to show Rahmah to others? You know that the month of Ramadan is the, the month of compassion. Are you going to share that compassion with others? You know that the month of Ramadan is the month of Qur'an. What are you and me going to do about it? Are we just going to enjoy knowing this piece of information? Or are we going to act upon it? This is the challenge that we act upon what the Prophet ﷺ have taught us about the month of Ramadan. And by this way and only this way, the month of Ramadan would actually bring change into our lives as Muslims. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make us among those who listen, obey, and implement what they hear. Allahumma ja'alna mimma yastami'una al-qawla fa yattabi'una ahsana wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa salli allahumma wa sallim wa barik ala sayyidina Muhammad wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah.